Welcome to the TAF Hub. This is a brand new show brought to you by TAF Africa Global to educate you on real estate business and all the information you need to know about real estate. After 45 years of construction and real estate development in eight African countries, it is time to share my experience and it can only be done in the TAF Hub. We will be inviting experts who will give you facts and the right regulations on real estate development. Join us every week on our social media platforms for an exciting show. You can also watch us on JRTS TV every Sunday at 8.30 p.m. Welcome back live on the Tap Hub. My name is Maria Makuli and I am here with the main host, Mr. Mustafa Njai. And like I told you all, this is a continuation of our interview with the Honorable Minister today, uh, who we've been talking to a lot about his experience and of course the work he does and intend to do in the future as well. And that will bring us to a very important question that you were about to ask Mr. Njai. Yeah, thank you, very, thank you very much, Mariama, and uh, welcome again to the TAF Hub. Uh, we are, again, very privileged and honored to have the Honorable Minister of uh, Transport, um, uh, Works. Works and Infrastructure. And um, in the last episode, um, he touched on his plans uh, for his tenure. I guess this is for five years. Yes. Five Excellent. Years. And um, uh, I'll just, I'll just um, go over those again. Mm -hmm. uh, he plans to set up an infrastructure fund, mm -hmm. um, a tra an infrastructure policy, mm -hmm. and then a synergized uh, infrastructure development, mm -hmm. and then equipment leasing. Mm -hmm. Now, in doing this, um, uh, I uh, wanted to ask, uh, well, I wanted to ask about, um, about local content. Mm -hmm. uh, because as Gambians, like everywhere else in the world, we want to have our own share of the cake. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, um, in equipment leasing, we all know that, you know, equipment for road construction, it's very expensive. Mm -hmm. and, and then also, you need to train personnel to, do it. to man this. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. uh, being at the level of where you are in terms of uh, policies and, mm -hmm. you know, coming up with the policy, but also implementing the policies. Mm -hmm. What are your plans in helping, you know, Gambians to be able to access funding? Mm -hmm. you know, for this equipment mm -hmm. and also to build the capacity for Gambians to man this. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Njai, once again, and uh, your co-host, uh, Maria Makoli, for the opportunity. Um, in terms of finance, I mean, uh, we, uh, we are looking at uh, two things. First, we know that um, there are uh, renowned international companies out there whose job, basically, especially in the developed world, is to engage basically in equipment leasing um, where you know there is always ready made investment uh, opportunities for this and then also the money is always there because government budgets are there to roll back or roll out infrastructure projects mm -hmm. so now knowing that it takes a whole lot of a nightmare mm -hmm. to mobilize it is important that um, we engage this from that, uh, from that perspective where you have an experienced international leasing company mm -hmm. that can be you know, based here in the Gambia and work with local contractors. Okay. So that actually takes care of uh, the financing uh, component because uh, government will not have to spend money in this. Maybe a local Gambian can go into a partnership with an international service provider like that, and then they can be established here. And anytime we want to have local content, because for us, local content is at the very heart of uh, this policy. Mm -hmm. Of this, uh, it's, it's a deliberate, uh, disruptive policy to have our local content, you know, at the very center of this process, mm -hmm. where those local contractors that you know they have the local knowledge mm -hmm. they have the local expertise but they don't have the necessary financing to have their own equipment because they cannot buy them you know would now have to rely on the leasing companies anytime they need x y and z equipment they can be leased and then you know it can go through two ways either government pays them the contract money and then they pay the leasing company or the leasing company can be paid directly 
based on the agreement signed with uh, the contractor so that there will be no conflict of uh, you know, settlement of uh, fees and stuff like that. So that is, that is one side. I think that has taken care of the, um, <clears throat> you know, the financing. Now, the issue of uh, capacity building. This is very critical, and that is why we are now looking at this, what I call a proactive, deliberate policy, mm -hmm. that if we are giving you a project like, say, Battle Harding Highway, you know, we want you to partner with a local Gambian company. For them to build capacity, for them to understand, and then also build experience, uh, you know, maybe within the next five or six years. This is mm -hmm. not going to happen overnight mm, mm. you know you will have enough experience to be able to also take high value projects now mm. the CSCs that we see today in Senegal and the others in Cote d'Ivoire and other countries you know they all started very small like this mm. and then they build up and today they are international players I mean if you know tough construction company mm. was in road construction today mm. you know with all these experience gathered it would have been another global player mm. in the sub-region today, maybe even in Africa, just like you are in, uh, you know, the real estate business today, mm. you know, throughout the, throughout the continent. Mm. So these are the type of things that we want to do. Mm. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I mean, over the years, we have seen um, a complete absence mm -hmm. of this type of model mm -hmm. in our uh, infrastructure development arrangements. Mm -hmm. And really, we want to put it in mm -hmm. because either way you look at it, we have to have local Gambian companies participating in this sector mm -hmm. so that at least a chunk of the money can also remain in this country. Excellent. Yeah. Now, now just a word of caution quickly. Mm -hmm. um, one is legislation. Yes. Now yeah. whatever we do, <coughs> we, I think it must be legislated. Yes, yes. So, yes. so that's just a word of caution, that's yeah. number one. Mm -hmm. Number two, let's also flip it, look at the other side, mm -hmm. where again, you're a politician now, because you have, <laughs> you're a political appointee. Yes. And um, I'm just, I'm just looking at what happens also uh, elsewhere, mm -hmm. it does happen yeah. that politicians also can build their own teams. Yes, yes. This yes. is a danger that also happens. Yes. We only hope, mm -hmm. we only hope that it will not happen here, mm -hmm. where because there is local content, you mm -hmm. have people, you know, politicians will hide behind Those ones. some people and build their own teams, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. rather than mm -hmm. get the right, you know, um, uh, mm -hmm. uh, peg in the right hole. Mm -hmm. So that's just a word of caution. Yeah, I mean, and, and, we and must, must bear this in mind. That, that is rightly, I mean, uh, so. I mean, um, However, if you look at um, the number of uh, local companies mm. that are struggling in this country, mm -hmm. um, their shareholders are already known. Mm -hmm. Some of them are only owned by individuals, but mm -hmm. some of them are like joint companies. Mm -hmm. And some of them are more than 15 years, mm -hmm. but they are really still struggling. Mm -hmm. It is important that those capacities are built. The issue of conflict of interest that you talked about mm -hmm. uh, is, is, of course, true. Mm -hmm. And it is likely that it could happen. Mm -hmm. But I think the legislations and other policies in this country are clear enough mm -hmm. that if you are going to do that, you have to declare your interest. Mm -hmm. And if you are a politician, especially, for example, let me use myself, mm -hmm. if I'm a minister, mm -hmm. and then... I have special interest in a company just because I want to provide, promote local content. Mm -hmm. I am using that. That, just the country being small, mm -hmm. um, it is likely going to be known. Yeah. Yeah. And if you care about your reputation mm -hmm. and your credibility, I think those are red lines that you don't want to go to. But I also know that um, we have very strong institutions in this country mm. and if government is going into those type of arrangements mm. you will of course want to do it with you know a small sizable credible companies that have been here for some time and mm. they have experience mm. in this type of thing mm. you build their capacity first you look at it and then you know you can upscale mm -hmm. because you don't want to also over things mm. and then we have had experience mm. um, over the years where you give contracts to also local contractors mm -hmm. and, you know, it you all becomes perform. a disaster, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. But that notwithstanding, that mm -hmm. should not be 
um, a deterrent, for, you know, from not promoting mm. our own people. Mm. Excellent. Yes. Exactly. Well, in every market, you're going to have the bad ones and the good ones. <laughs> yes, so we try yes. to filter them and try to <laughs> yes. get the ones that are trying. Yeah. But uh, still, on your goals uh, mm. or your initiatives, mm. uh, keep in mind you have five years uh, mm. time expected of you. Mm. Are new roads or in, uh, infrastructure policies uh, on the construction mm. or are you working on that? Yes, um, we have already mapped out um, the urban road network within the Greater Banjul area, mm -hmm. uh, which uh, we are validating at the ministry. I think it's 133 kilometers within the Greater Banjul area yeah, yeah. Um, in the Fonies, and also some road kilometers in the Kabadas, mm -hmm. which is about, I think, 80 something. Mm -hmm. um, we have some in the Kiangs. Uh, we have uh, the second trench of the North Bank. Mm -hmm. um, also some roads within the CRR, especially the CRR North, mm -hmm. from, um, from the crossing point of the Makati, Janjambure N, mm -hmm. uh, on the other side of the North Bank, going all the way through to Bangsang area. No, 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 that's um, Keleng Boost Town area. Yeah. Um, we also have uh, some identified roads within the URR also mm -hmm. um, that are already mapped. Mm -hmm. And plus the 400 kilometers of rural roads, mm -hmm. um, which actually um, are, are, are mapped clearly. What is left for some of them is to do a strong feasibility. And we are, we, are, we are working on some of those things. Mm -hmm. So, yes, I mean, uh, we are working on uh, other priority projects like uh, the bypass coming from uh, the Denton Bridge, going all the way through uh, Mandina Ring and then straight to Mandina Bar mm -hmm. and then cross to Siliti yeah. uh, border. Mm -hmm. So that um, vehicle, heavy duty vehicles that are coming from the port of Banjul mm -hmm. will not have to go through this heavy congested area mm -hmm. of uh, the Serakundas the border, yeah. and then Brikama mm -hmm. and then to uh, the, the border mm -hmm. at Siliti. So we are expecting that with this initiative, you can cut the travel time by more than one hour, mm -hmm. that alone, because mm -hmm. the, there will be no congestion on mm -hmm. that road. And we want to make that a tall system mm -hmm. so that uh, whoever invests in that, mm -hmm. you know, you can uh, recuperate. Mm. your investment through a PPP or a BOT, mm. depending on what arrangements you know you have with the government. Um, there are other important priority projects mm. that we want to do, um, which include um, a dry port mm -hmm. in Basse, mm -hmm. and, and also another facility along the Sene, Senegambia corridor mm -hmm. on the other side near the f where, where you have the Senegambia bridge mm -hmm. so that you know it can serve the, the both, both ends of uh, Senegal. Yeah. Uh, this is critical because if you look at um, you know our, our strategic location within the region <clears throat> you know if you have a dry port in Basse that will that will cut travel time for <clears throat> vehicles going you know, to say Dakar, you know, for ECOWAS, you know, I mean, uh, in this estate trade, mm. you know, by more than almost three hours. Mm. And, you know, in business, time is also money. a very big money. Yeah. You know, so these are the things that we are doing. And we have got phenomenal interest, mm -hmm. you know, from various quarters mm -hmm. for this. Um, we are reviewing a whole lot of uh, paperwork mm -hmm. submitted to us mm -hmm. by various uh, investors mm -hmm. and you know companies of interest mm -hmm. that have expressed you know interest to work with the government on this mm -hmm. we're doing due diligence right now on mm -hmm. a whole lot of uh, proposals mm -hmm. and um, at the right time all these things will be submitted you know to the government mm -hmm. for review and then action Mm -hmm. Great. So these, these are all plans, Honorable Minister. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, but for me, from the private sector, we yes. always like timelines. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I want to put you on the spot here. Yes. <laughs> you have a mandate for five years. We yes. hope you stay in this ministry for five years. Yes. yes. And um, the, what's the timeline? Can you, are you brave enough to tell us that, look, we're going to accomplish this by this time? Well, um, for the um, urban road uh, network, especially um, for the for the West Coast going all the way to parts of, uh, you know, uh, 
you are a CRR mm. and CRR not uh, particularly and also the Kabadas of Kiang mm -hmm. is, is, is very urgent. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a uh, a facility right now that the Ministry of Finance is looking at mm. and um, it has met the concessionary uh, uh, point of uh, the, 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 the facility mm -hmm. uh, as agreed with our partners and um, following a validation of that review process of course you know we will go proper into action. Mm -hmm. um, at our level most of the documentation is ready in fact, um, last, last, last Thursday, we got the email for the finalization of the concept notes mm -hmm. and the justification for the project and the, you know, the, 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 draft, the mm -hmm. draft designs. Mm -hmm. So uh, we are just waiting for the finalization of uh, that facility uh, validation process by the Ministry of Finance mm -hmm. and we will jump into action. There is another so timeline. I want to push you on timeline. Yeah, when well, let's say, let's it? say, I mean, everything put together, our agenda is by the first quarter of uh, next year, mm -hmm. we should s spring into action. Yeah. Remember also, we have our own, you know, budget line. Yeah, but can is, I just push you, sorry to interrupt you, mm -hmm. can I just push you, like, if you've submitted all these plans, yes. the, 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 the um, bypass and all these... The, the bypass... The, what, what I'm looking for is that, look, we're going to accomplish this maybe the, the, or the, by, okay. by our, I, I, our Let term, me say, the, let me term, say the, by, the bypass was necessary yeah. yesterday. Yes. So, um, the, What are you looking at? What term limit? What, what well, time? I mean, um, with uh, the discussions, the feasibility and everything, that should not be more than one year. Okay. Yes, I mean... The, because let, let, let me help you, Honorable Minister. Yes. You know, some of the things that we would like to hear is that, uh -huh. look, by the time I finish, we finish our term, yes. we would have done this. Yes, I mean... So, uh, no next, even one year, in the next five years, five huh? Years. President so, has given us... Yes. Um, ...a very strong indication that he wants to do 1,200 kilometers of roads. Yes, in during five his years. tenure. During Perfect. his tenure, yeah. in five years. Okay. No, these five years, 1,200 yeah. kilometers. Yeah, yeah. And we are spiritually committed to that. Great. And yeah. uh, 1,500 kilometers... To 1,200. To, wow. to, to 2,200. No, 1,200 kilometers. Oh, 1,200 kilometers... Over the next five years. Over the next five years. So, so I'm booking it down. This, 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 is, is, no, this, down. this, is, this is like an assignment. Given Assign to us. Great. So <laughs> it is. On the spot. It, is it is. It is a great work. Yes. And the ministry is working 24 hours. Excellent. To see that we meet that target. Yeah. And that is why, if we are able to quickly jump on the work for the 150 kilometers of uh, the urban road network, mm -hmm. and then. The 87, and you know, so one year you are talk of, you are talking of about what nearly 300 kilometers mm -hmm. already sealed, mm -hmm. you know. Then the bypass and all the orders mm -hmm. that we are going to do, you know, those ones, you know, because the private sector is coming in. Then yeah. there is a lot of interest in it, you know. Um, so we are very confident mm -hmm. that uh, this is doable. Mm -hmm. Although yes, we live in a situation where the financial situation of the world. Uncertainty. Uns uncertainty yes, and shaky. Yes, yes. But um, the private sector is still very committed to, you know, invest in infrastructure projects, especially bankable ones. Yeah. And yeah. a lot of uh, those ones with, that have been identified, like mm -hmm. the dry port, the, I mean, um, the, 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 the toll bridges, mm -hmm. the, the, the bypasses, mm -hmm. those ones are really bankable ones. And, you know, they are No, excellent. I think that that's fine. And, and I, I think yeah. I want to use this opportunity, Honorable Minister, mm -hmm. to call upon the Gambian diaspora. Exactly. I mean, uh, that's the reason why we have a program like yes. this. Mm -hmm. uh, here you are. Mm -hmm. The Honorable Minister has said that their plans are to build 1,200 to 1,500 kilometers of road. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then also they're looking at local content. And so I think infrastructure, infrastructure fund. fund. Yeah. So the, 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 the Gambian diaspora probably can now start looking at you know, opportunities like this. Mm -hmm. So I would like to call on those who's got interest in the Gambia, coming back home, investing whatever, mm -hmm. to take up um, the, 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 the promise um, that was or made by the... to work, because we yeah. have some of them exactly. with the expertise. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. if you cannot yeah. also work, come down and train um, our young people who are interested in exactly. that area, because we still need the capacity building exactly. uh, to keep and, these and, and even going. this fund already, the, 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 the people identified, we, 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 we're given some names already yeah. who have experience in this, but we also want to work with the Gambia Migration Project, yeah. the one headed by, I think, Professor Fall. Mm -hmm. They have contacts with all the, you know, Gambians in the diaspora, diaspora who okay. have the capacity mm. 
and the financial muscle. And it will Excellent. be a great opportunity okay. now that um, not many people are investing in the, I mean, uh, uh, the, the bonds yeah. at the central bank, yeah. you know, treasury bills. Treasury bills yeah. You know, this is a great opportunity mm. to invest in Excellent. and then have your returns. Now, Honorable Minister, um, are you uh, seeking for us answers to the traffic jam, which is one of Gambia's most pressing problems at this moment? And so, uh, how are you going to tackle this? Thank you so much. Uh, this is part of um, a key priority for the ministry, where we are currently validating some of our uh, policies and uh, programs to set up a whole lot of uh, new initiatives, um, one of which is uh, an, intelligence, uh, an intelligent uh, uh, traffic you know, I mean, uh, and, and transport setup. Mm -hmm. um, this is essential to decongest some areas, but also to ensure that there is less pressure on uh, many of the urban areas and urban roads that we have seen. Mm -hmm. And this will include the ongoing work of uh, the, the government to widen roads, to provide more roads within the urban centers, but also to build, to work with uh, the Gambia Transport uh, Agency, mm -hmm. uh, the, 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 the GSTC, mm -hmm. to bring in, um, you know, affordable urban transport, uh, you know, systems, mm -hmm. so that uh, people can move within mm -hmm. so easily. I had uh, the municipalities also are thinking of uh, this type of initiative. Mm -hmm. um, we also have been approached by other um, logistics uh, solution companies, mm -hmm. just like the Ubers, mm -hmm. to introduce this type of uh, facility in this country mm -hmm. so that you, you don't only have to depend on the normal taxes, yeah. mm -hmm. but uh, any car that is registered on this uh, solution, mm -hmm. you know, you can, you can just dial a specific number and then, you know, the vehicle can pick you up and, you know, drop you at your destination quickly and faster. Mm -hmm. So we are, we, are, we are looking at those things and hopefully, I mean, uh, it will require engagement with transport owners because mm -hmm. they are a key player in mm -hmm. this, the transport union, and also, of course, the, 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 the GRA, mm -hmm. the Ministry of Finance, because uh, what I have seen, the model I have seen in other countries mm -hmm. is that uh, the, the road tax that you pay and all other little taxes, that actually is eliminated. Mm -hmm. So what happens is you are taxed on the turnover mm -hmm. of what you make a day, mm -hmm. you know, and then these are paid through, you know, fintech services. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, that will also require us to work closely with the central bank to have a payment gateway in this mm -hmm. country as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. So that is a very strong work in progress. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, excellent. Mm -hmm. So, so I mean, let, let's now talk about the, the biggest project you have on, on road infrastructure within the urban area, which mm -hmm. is the um, uh, airport uh, string corner yes. highway. Yeah, mm -hmm. the Batting Harding. Uh, the Batting Harding, yeah. Yes, I, yes. I guess if, if you're, if you're your ministry and your government, or, yes, or, or yes. President Barras' government, finishes this one on time. I think it will be a big feather, you know, on yes. on his heart and on, definitely on 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 the on, on the government's on, heart, on the president's on heart, the president's I mean. heart. Yeah. yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. yes. Um, and, and for your information, they yeah. have already started, you know, laying the first course. Yeah, I'll come there. No, 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 don't don't <laughs> you know, take my. Well, I'm don't take my. <laughs> out of my well, mouth. Well, you, you, you've said <laughs> it this morning. Yeah, I talked about Because uh, really, we, we we are working against time to make sure that. At least the first course is laid so that you know there can be ease of traffic, you know, vehicular movement, yeah. you know, on that rain, on that road. Mm -hmm. Yes, I mean this is a very critical road for us. It is part of the OIC road projects, and um, we want to make sure that uh, from the airport all the way to the Senegambia, that is finished on time by December, okay. and the contractor is definitely on time. It will have uh, now three overpass bridges. Mm -hmm. You know, one will be at the Sunchu Johnson, mm -hmm. Sunchu and Old Yundum Johnson roundabout. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. There will be another one at the Brusubi Town Table, where they call the Brusubi Round a Town Table, mm -hmm. and then there will be another one at the um, Pipeline uh, Kairaba Avenue Traffic Light Johnson, mm -hmm. so that you know, at any given time, there will be free flow of traffic without having to wait. You know, to cross one end of the you know of, of, of the road to the other. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there is a strong work in progress. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, as I said, um, this is one thing that you know, um, uh, it's a, 
it's in everybody's mind now, yes, very inconvenient. Yes. Yes. But again, I mean, uh, you have to be inconvenient to get the best. Exactly. And um, exactly. I, I, I will definitely, on this platform, speak for the contractor. Mm -hmm. Because um, we've seen what they've done here. Yeah. Uh, I think they are the ones who did the Sukuta yes, Jabang Road. Jabang Road yes. And uh, it is there for us to see. Exactly. Mm. So, um, um, Kote to be, Kote 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 to be mm -hmm. fair to them also, mm -hmm. I think on, on our program, mm -hmm. we want to give compliments for those that deserve it. Yeah. So we have hopes that they will do a good job. Yes. And um, so uh, we, 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 we hope to have it done, as you said. You said... By let's just by repeat December. it again. By December, so by December 2022, they should they should they should be at the Senegambia Junction. They should be at the Senegambia Junction, meaning it will be motorable. It will be motorable and on, on three lanes one yes, way, yes. and then the other three lanes, three lanes the other on way. the other way. Yes. Okay, that's yes. not far. In the yes. next six months, we will be driving. <laughs> and, 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 and the way they are going, I think you know, it is it is possible that uh, they may even do it before the ahead of time. Oh, that, of that, time. Will, that yes. will be great. Yes. But yes. let me okay. Let's now look at when these highways are done, mm -hmm. and uh, let's look at also the urban setting around these yes. highways yes. because when we go to Dakar we see these things we see mm. some highways mm. that people try to cross oh, in, yes. Yes, yes, and yes. what is done in areas like this is at times it is fenced off yes the yes. fence of the the, the, um, uh, the areas that's inhabited mm. Mm -hmm. and uh, others they also put in pedestrian bridges, bridges yes so yes. can I ask you in trying to save lives mm -hmm. and accidents because mm -hmm. you know people you know, they will cross highways like this. Yes, yes, and yes. Uh, again, having lay, um, highways like this, people are going to drive very fast. Fast, yes. yes. So um, is this being considered? Are these figures we are going to have that, was, that is going to protect people from accidents and, and so on? Yes, we, we, we are considering, in fact, as part of the project to put the guardrails yes. in uh, congested you know, I mean, uh, neighborhoods so that people cannot actually cross over. Now, uh, the issue of uh, the flyovers, mm -hmm. the footpaths, yeah. you know, over the roads. Yeah, the pedestrian bridges. The pedestrian yeah. bridges. Mm -hmm. You know, this, this was considered. Mm -hmm. And the history that we were given was that uh, in the Gambia, this is never, you know, people never use it. Mm -hmm. um, and also, if you want to do it, you have to use um, cutting edge one also, where mm -hmm. at least... Uh, persons with disabilities mm -hmm. can also use it, which means mm -hmm. that so you have ramps. to have uh, ramps, yeah. not only ramps, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. also, I mean, uh, a kind of um, um, an electronic escalator yeah. Yeah. that can be there. And then, you know, because uh, with a ramp for a long, this, uh, yeah. you know, when it may be difficult for anyone to use a wheelchair or mm -hmm. a crutch, you know, to, to go up. And when you are coming down, it may be slippery and then you mm. can fall. Mm. So that will have to be additional cost, mm -hmm. you know. But if it's something that is necessary, mm -hmm. and really as a country, we need to really <laughs> look at that and that will come as additional cost. Mm -hmm. But this is something that we have been discussing at the steering committee level, mm -hmm. which is headed by the vice president. Mm -hmm. um, well, president, but you know, represented by the vice president mm -hmm. and uh, four or five other cabinet ministers mm -hmm. that sit on uh, these projects. Mm -hmm. And then at the technical level, you have the, 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 the NRA, mm -hmm. the National Road Authority under the Ministry of uh, Transport, Works and Infrastructure. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully, in our next meeting, this it was there before, but mm -hmm. it, was, it was removed. Mm -hmm. But, you know, there is a lot of call for us to bring them back, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, may, may I just take it further? I mean, because this is quite important. Yes. I'm just looking ahead and the, the possibilities uh, of, of accidents happening. Yes. And it's going to happen, and every yes, life yes. matters here. Yes. Um, uh, but let me first ask, um, mm -hmm. what's going to happen between the two different directions? Yes. You know, at times you have these uh, big bullets that they put that runs across. Yes, is that what yes. we're going to have? Or is it going to be something like the, the Sukuta Jabang Road? Is, are you going to have, uh, well, if you know. Uh, I don't well, you know. No, I know. Um, yeah. For the, um, those are safety measures yes. that we looked at critically. Mm. Um, at night, of course, it is important for you know, the drivers to have a clear view mm. for up to a distance. And what we are doing, for example, um, if you have the roundabout, because mm. we'll have quite a few roundabouts mm -hmm. you know, in the, in the, on, on this highway. Mm -hmm. So we have put in place safety measures what you call the accelerators and the accelerators when you are reaching the the roundabout so that mm. you reduce your speed but no, I'm also sorry, let me, no, no, no I, i'm just between coming. the two between the two 
lanes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Those, th those are the lightning. That's what I'm, I'm, I'm coming to. I'm just giving you the safety yeah. measures. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, between the two lanes, of course, those ones will also be there so that you know clearly and they will so be clearly So it's lightning. Marked. It's not a structure. No, it's not going to be a structure. If, if, you mean for the three lanes on this three side? Lanes on the side. Oh, no, 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 no. Side. no there will be, of course, there Concrete. Will be, yeah, I don't know whether it is concrete, but of course there will be a clear line distinction. Yeah, let me give you an example, just to help in this. Um, if you are on the um, uh, autoroute, but autoroute That's what I'm saying. You know you have a solid, solid concrete, concrete structure. Concrete structure. That, yeah, that, that, that's what we'll have. Oh, the, you'll have that. You'll have, we'll have that in the middle of in the, the middle. road. In the middle. So, so you cannot clearly just walk across from one end to the other. You have to go up over those concrete structures. As, as, as pedestrians. As pedestrians. That's why I tell you that yeah. we'll have what we call guardrails. Yes. In the congested areas. Yeah, okay. So that you will not be able to cross the road. And also, you know, in the Gambia, from the Senegal Gambia, all the way to Yundum, and then to the airport, Johnson, even, you have a lot of animals crossing. And it's going, everywhere is congested. Yeah, on yeah. either side. This road, so, everywhere is yeah, congested. Yeah, so we, 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 have put, we have put in place for, do, you know, that, that one, the guardrails, so that, you know, that will discourage the animals from crossing, but also people crossing in. And then in the middle, we have what we call the barriers. Yeah, the barrier so, there. Yeah, yeah, so that, so I mean, that yeah. you will not be able to. So that, it's a solid barrier. It's a solid barrier. Okay. But in the, even on the, on, on, the, on, on the roads also, for purpose of safety, especially for night drivers, yes, you will have a street lights already part of the project, mm -hmm. but you will also have proper signage facilities, mm -hmm. you know, that you can see while you are driving. Mm -hmm. So those are strong safety measures, measures okay. that we have put in place Excellent. for the road. Mm -hmm. Well, it seems that will bring us to the end of this interesting conversation with uh, the Honourable Minister, Mr. Silla, but uh, we hope that we will have him more often on this platform. You're, you're a communication expert. I mean, you've <laughs> been in the media for a long time, so you mm. understand why it is key to have people like you on platforms like this where you can mm. communicate to the masses. Let them catch up with the works that you're doing and get to know more on what you are doing as well. It was yeah. really an honor having you here, and mm -hmm. thank you so much for your time, Mr. Njai. Thank you very much. Um, uh, again, thank you for coming on this episode mm -hmm. again. I think we're going we're gonna to have uh, another episode coming up pretty soon. Yeah. So thank you very much, viewers. Don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel, which is Mustafa Njai Dash Taf. Africa Global presents the first eco smart city in the Gambia, the Taf City. Located between Gunjur and Sifo, it is 30 minutes away from the Banjul International Airport. At Taf City, you will be able to live, work, play, and shop in a healthy multi purpose community. This vibrant urban environment will meet your everyday needs with commercial, business, recreational, and other complementary services to increase the value of your home. With up to 5,000 units of affordable homes on a 500 hectare land, Tap City will be twice the size of Banjul. Prime location, stunning properties, and amazing discount of 20% for the first 50 buyers. Make an appointment today to secure your property for more information please call plus two two zero seven seven six two three three or plus two two zero three seven six two three 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 or you can send an email to info at toughafricaglobal.com better still visit our office at madiwa mall Bruford gardens estate tough city a green and smart city accessible to all